You know the feeling. You're in the kitchen, ready to cook. You feel powerful, unstoppable. Then you face your arch nemesis, a small round vegetable. You make the first cut, and suddenly, it's a full-on waterworks crisis. So are onions just pure evil? Did you have a secret tragic backstory with this specific onion? Nope, it's just the onion's brilliant and slightly dramatic self-defense system. Think of an onion like a tiny fortress, as long as it's whole, everything is peaceful. But the second your knife breaches its walls, you're unleashing chemical chaos. When you cut an onion, you break open its cells, releasing a bunch of chemicals that normally just mind their own business. The first key chemical is an enzyme, let's call it the enforcer. The enforcer immediately finds another molecule floating around. It's mischievous sidekick. When these two meet, they party hard and create a brand new super light sulfur gas. This isn't just any gas, it's basically tear gas light, and it has one mission, fly directly into your eyeballs, toss a heat-seeking missile for your cornea. Now your eyes are smart. They're coated in a thin layer of water to stay moist. When this evil gas hits that water, it creates a very, very mild sulfuric acid. Your brain gets an instant panic signal that basically screams code red. There's annoying acid in here, your brain's only solution, flush it out. It commands your tear ducts to open the floodgates. Those aren't tears of sadness, they're your body's emergency eyewash system working overtime. So next time you're weeping over a half-chopped onion, remember, you're not sad. You're just a victim of a very clever vegetable's ghost, throwing a chemical tantrum right in your face. Want to win the war? Try chilling the onion in the fridge first. A cold onion is a lazy onion, 